Hello guys, this is E! News on Mac TV. My name is Precious Efana. There's so much on the program today. There's news, there's gist, there's movie news, there's trending songs, and I don't even know where to start, but I just have to try to give you all of the juicy details today before I get out of here. So where did I begin from? Gist, music, movie, gist. Linda Ikeji recently released a long ass conversation about her baby daddy and herself and her baby and how it did not work out on her blog and she then like recapped everything again on Instagram telling people that have not seen it to go check out her blog to see it. Now from the conversation that she posted, it did not work out and you know life happens and all of that. But Nigerians are not having any of that thing. Like Nigerians are coming at her from left, right and center. Although her fans are still there being supportive and you know some stars are showing concern and support. If we're not Alex from BBN telling her how they've been in similar positions and all of that. But the majority of Nigerians are like, mm -mm, sister, you were telling us about celibacy and being engaged and all of that. So people are trying to like get the whole gist of the story starting from how she faked that engagement because she was, well, she actually did not say she was engaged. Her sister said she was engaged, she never confirmed. But that was before the whole pregnancy announcement. And now it did not work out. And she's joined the class of baby mamas that she has been trolling. Personally, I don't think she owes anybody any explanation. I mean, it's her life, it's her body, it's her baby. She can do whatever she wants. And that brings us to number five on the trending songs of this week. At number five, we have Bono Boy on the low. I feel a vibe, you feel a vibe, so baby, why not it on me? Yeah, and I know you shy, but it's cool when we're making love. Undilu, undilu, und that was Bola Boy on the low, and I absolutely love the visuals to that song. I mean, the lady dancing and all of that with her banging body. And speaking about banging bodies, Pretty Mike, um, if you don't know who that is, I don't know if you heard the news about some guy that was always leading ladies on the leash. That is Pretty Mike, he's a club co-owner. Anyways, he came on Instagram, he posted part one, then he posted part two, I'm waiting for part three. And he's talking about ladies in Nigeria that have been going under the knife, like having boobs and butt and hips surgery and all of that. And the interesting part about him and his post is that he's actually calling names. He's called our favorite celebrities, you know? Our actresses, um, Toto DK, and then um, he mentioned in your do. He said he's not really sure about in your do. Then he talked about Pokemon. Then he called some girls, you know, slay queens on Instagram and all of that. Anyways, he says he's not against it. He actually loves it. He loves his behind big and yeah, I think we all love our behinds big. But honestly, people can do whatever they want to with their body. It's not our money. And whatever it is they're doing to themselves is not affecting us directly. And if it makes them happy, please let them be. Moving on to number four on the trending songs of this week, we have Techno on You. Okay, I'm sure I'm not the only one that is super excited to see Techno back on the music scene. I mean, following his vocal box damage um, incident, we're so glad that he's back. And I think this is like a really trying period for um, artists because then McClurkin, the popular gospel artist, was involved in an accident some days ago. If you can recall, he was in Nigeria for the experience. And according to what he posted, he lost consciousness while driving and his car was swiping in the middle of the road. And then two like good Samaritans were just following him with their emergency blinkers on, trying to keep traffic off his side of the road until he finally crashed. But we think that like he's safe, no major injury, he's fine. I mean, this is like the end of the year. We don't want to lose anybody, do we? Moving on to number three on the trending songs, we have the video Wonder Woman. With my baby, my Wonder Woman. A super woman. My special woman. See my guy. Take a cheap pillow. The videos wonder woman. We talked about that last week, and he talked about how it's gonna have so many views on YouTube, and there was one drama around that. But let's not talk about it. Let's talk about someone else's wonder woman. I think the gold performed at Simi's um concert, and the next day Simi posted pictures from the concert, and there was this picture that actually appeared like they were, like they were kissing. Hmm? 
But then Simi took it down. Simi took down that picture. Like, I actually took time out to comment on that picture. Like, yeah, they finally declared. I mean, everybody was super excited about it. And then next thing, Simi took down the picture. And then when everything is about, it was the camera angle. I actually regretted not screen grabbing that thing. But well, they said it was the camera angle and they actually did not kiss. So, let's just assume they are still besties for now. I mean, they are in bestie era. They are still besties. Number two trending song for the week. We have Olamide. And I step into the street for my paper. And they also make the poverty chat power. Go the buruku my loyal That's what makes me feel like I just came out of a prayer house. Like poverty die now. Uh -uh, you don't do. But then poverty die might actually be coming under fire anytime soon. We all know how Olamide doesn't give any qualms about posting videos that are going to like stir up trouble and all of that. If you can recall several of his videos have been banned by the NBC, War was banned, um, Science Student was banned. And now this one is actually towing the line of um, social vice glorification. At least that's what people are saying because in the video he is in a hall with some masked guys who have pieces on their legs. Anyways, let's see if NBC is going to ban this, if they have reason enough to ban this because it was not straight out glorification of 419. Let's just hope they don't ban this. Moving on, finally, to number one on the list. You won't believe like the top song that's trending this week. Root Boy, Double Double, featuring Fino and Olamide. Check this out. Anything for you, my account balance. See, I get this mission. Transmission, vision. Any Let's quickly pop over to the box office. Guess who is singing double double this season? Kemi Adetiba. Fully the release of King of Boys, as at November 15, they say it have grossed over 100 million in box office. And just recently, she released a post that they've grossed over 200 million in box office. Like, I'm super excited. I've not seen the movie. Well, due to no fault of mine, I did make an attempt to see the movie, but I could not. So, I think all of us that have not seen this movie should just gather and have a WhatsApp group or something and make plans to see this Xmas period. And if you're making plans to go to the cinema this period, I have great news for you. There are new movies showing at the cinema. Just yesterday, new movies dropped. Um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Mortal Engines. Backtrace. Avicii. True Stories, and our very own Chief Daddy. Now, if you saw the premiere of Chief Daddy, I'm sure you're super excited that it's already in the cinema. I mean, they had um, this original Nigerian theme, and it was so nice. All of our celebrities showing up in our like traditional outfits. I was really impressed. And that's all on the news for today, guys. I wish I could stay and give you more juice. Like, there's still plenty more in stock. But, I mean, we have to go. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media at MacTV. My name is Precious and Fanga. Do have a splendid weekend. Peace, guys.